Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings, welcome to uh, my channel and to a new presentation of the uh, functions of the um, TBS2603 V2 uh, uh, encoder. Uh, as, I was, as I was saying in the previous uh, video, especially in the unboxing, we're gonna discuss in the today review about the functions and about web UI and about uh, usability of the uh, encoder. So uh, when you're uh, first time logging in, you have uh, on the encoder, you have a sticker which will there is uh, the IP address for the web UI. Just type in uh, the it is an universal uh, uh, sticker. It's universal IP 192.168.1 and 168. Yeah, and hit enter. Uh, the password and the username is admin admin by default. So uh, as you can see, I have already uh, typed in and it's asking me the password and the, the username. I'm gonna sign in and uh, we're gonna uh, see right here uh, the web UI. We're just gonna refresh it and uh, here is the web UI of the encoder. Firstly, I'm gonna tell you I have used a uh, stick, a uh, HDMI uh, um, media player stick and uh, it's connected to a Plex server and it's uh, streaming some uh, free-to-air channels such as uh, Euronews uh, for uh, the purpose of the description and of the functions and everything. So um, right immediately after you logged in uh, we you can go into the system area of the encoder and in the system area you can uh, uh, set up uh, different things such as uh, IP address if you want to change the IP address the time zone uh, subnet mask DNS password change the password even the IP address uh, of the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi details to insert because as I told you the encoder have also Wi-Fi uh, dongle inside uh, there is also the system upgrade, yeah, uh, the la latest firmware version is from September 26, 22, yeah, 2022, so August, I'm sorry, uh, it's August uh, 26, uh, probably at the time when we are making this video, uh, sh there should be another uh, system upgrade. Feel free to request it via email from uh, TBS support, support at uh, tbsdtv.com. So once you are, you are set up the main functions such as uh, IP address for your needs, uh, passwords and everything, uh, you can proceed in configuring and setting up the encoder f furthermore. So uh, firstly, we're going to go to the, as you can see, the entire web UI is changed. It's way much more different uh, from the previous uh, web UI. And uh, we have uh, CPU, uh, we have CPU indicator, memory indicator. We, have, we can see now that uh, the encoder is capable of uh, uh, encoding uh, two channels simultaneously. Two channels meaning uh, uh, two uh, same stream two times uh, it can output. So uh, for the first one it, it is set in encoding H.264 with uh, FPS frames per second 25 bit rate of uh, 3200 uh, kilobyte per second. Ratio is auto max QP is 32. The profile is my main profile. Resolution it's uh, full HD as you can see here, yeah, this encoder it's a full HD encoder, so uh, 1080p. It's the um, uh, maximum resolution which this encoder can work. For the second channel, meaning second channel of the encoder, I mean the same stream, the same source stream, as I told you, it can be uh, encoded and transcoded uh, twice. For the second one, uh, the resolution it's uh, HD, regular HD, it can be set both uh, for full HD, but for uh, today test, we're gonna use it as it is. Uh, we have uh, fields for the audio parameter, or, uh, and also we can choose the um, uh, HDMI output uh, for audio, for both channels. 
on the right side we can see here for the channel one which are the um, uh, URLs to uh, access the encoded content for both channels HLS uh, at the moment is disabled because I didn't set it with uh, RTMP push but the encoder is capable of RTMP push you have specific uh, field here for RTMP push and as you can see here you can uh, actually uh, stream uh, both uh, uh, channels both content both uh, um, content you can uh, uh, stream them to up to eight uh, social media platforms so all you have to do in this field is just to enable the on and uh, type in the um, uh, RTMP path to your uh, social media platform. So as I said, you are able the same stream, you can send it twice uh, to total of eight uh, social media platform. This is the um, limit of, the, of this encoder. So for example, you can connect in a uh, camera uh, uh, Asia my camera or uh, I don't know some uh, other uh, source and you can uh, stream it uh, simultaneously uh, twice with two different resolutions to total of eight uh, social media platforms on the protocol side as you can see we have here the HTTP settings uh, the unicast it is capable also of multicast and as I said, it is uh, NDI uh, uh, HX capable uh, encoder, which is uh, uh, very good. It's NDI uh, certified encoder. Uh, here are the fields. You can uh, set up uh, uh, HTTP port, stream name, in unicast mode, in multicast mode. Uh, the second, uh, each each of them, they are uh, uh, vertically uh, set. Set, set up. I mean for HTTP 1, for stream 1 you can uh, set here, for stream 2 you can set on the right side of the of the page. The web UI is looking uh, pretty simple, it's not something fancy but it's very efficiently uh, uh, programmed and uh, implemented. So uh, as I said each side, left side is for one, one of the content, on the right side is the other content. content. Uh, there are also a couple more uh, things to know. Uh, we can add the uh, uh, logo with BMP. You can uh, upload the file here and you can select uh, transparency and uh, uh, where exactly do you want to place the logo. You can upload text, yeah, which can be different colors, uh, time code. Also, uh, you can uh, do HDMI cut and also you can uh, uh, work on directly on the TS uh, file. TS file meaning uh, uh, the encoded content uh, which uh, uh, it's already prepared. So, uh, as you can see, as I told you before, uh, it's not a fancy web UI, but it's very specific and efficient and lightweight meaning that it, the resource consumption of the web UI is very small. Uh, in the system area we already discussed, the protocol we have already discussed, uh, we have uh, on the home page uh, a preview, a live preview which you can uh, play or uh, pause. You can um, uh, see exactly uh, each channel uh, of the content, uh, what kind of uh, parameters they, they are having for uh, encoding, for resolution, for the bitrate and so on. And on the right side we can see the links uh, necessarily to, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> necessarily to uh, stream uh, the content, to see the con uh, streamed content. As I said, I use for uh, this uh, specific presentation of the web UI a um, stick, if I'm not mistaken, it's a um, uh, let me check, it's a uh, Xiaomi uh, HDMI stick, it is only capable of uh, Full HD and uh, this Xiaomi stick is uh, connected to my uh, personal um, Plex server and it's uh, fetching from the Plex server uh, channels such as uh, um, free-to-air channel uh, Euronews in English. 
Now, uh, to check the content if it's encoded, it's very simple. We just uh, copy uh, from here the path, the, the link, and uh, uh, open a VLC and uh, see the quality of the content. Yeah, we paste it here and just play it. Yeah, it's immediately playing. Now let's see uh, what the VLC will say about the um, quality of the uh, codex and the statistic of how it's doing the job of the encoding. So, uh, content bitrate, as you can see, it's uh, between it's constant uh, is CBR. It's constant bitrate. It's between uh, three three uh, thousand. Uh, Three to, till four thousand um, uh, kilobyte per second, and uh, the Dimox data size it's what is entering the content which is inserted into the machine. It's like uh, seventy uh, megabyte per second. Uh, no lost frames, as you can see uh, on audio side, nor on the um, uh, video side, no discarded, no corrupted data, no dropped uh, frames. So the encoder is uh, working quite uh, nicely, as you can see right here. Um, pretty much this is all. It's a uh, simple, a cheap, simple and very useful uh, tool. Yeah, If you're a streamer, a game streamer or a uh, content provider, a content maker, a content builder uh, which usually it's uh, he, uh, your content is uh, going to social media platform uh, this uh, encoder is dedicated and it's made for you because it, it doesn't need uh, uh, usage of a computer you can just program it set it from web UI first time uh, program it and then let it just run and uh, it will uh, continuously run without any problem. Well, pretty much this is it. Uh, I have a couple of uh, things to tell you, to explain you. This month, uh, November, uh, as you know, this Friday, this week especially, it's going to be the Black Friday. Stay close, stay tuned, watch the uh, social media pages of the TBS, watch the website of the TBS because we're gonna have a uh, very nice Black Friday price cuts. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, pro uh, discounts between uh, 10 till 35% on different uh, uh, hardware. So uh, keep close and uh, uh, watch for our social media accounts, watch for our uh, shops in Europe, uh, it's tbsiptv.com, in uh, China shop.tbsdtv.com, uh, and uh, of course uh, Amazon and um, eBay uh, shops as well. Good luck, have a nice and fruitful Black Friday. Thank you very much. Bye bye.